like my husband and I met in college while he was stalking me. I think y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? He was so tickled with me. He was on fire for me. That he bought me presents for no reason, no special occasion. You boys know what he was after, don't you? I think you young boys call it milkshake. He wanted up in my, my yard to get my... Okay. I married him, had three children by him. Things change when you've been married a hundred years, doesn't it? Do? Now I have to give birth to get a pair of earrings. Vaginal trauma, fine jewelry. Okay, it's a deal. and I were at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and I was getting my undergraduate degree, and he was getting his uh, MBA, and I thought, oh my gosh, he is so smart, he can reconcile a checkbook, we're going to have a good life. No telling where we're going to go and what we're going to do and the glamour. Well, we graduated, and he decided to buy a used mobile home business in Bean Station, Tennessee. <laughs> Is this thing on? I said a used mobile home business. Do y'all know where Bean Station, Tennessee is? <laughs> oh. It's at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Have you ever seen Deliverance? <laughs> Maybe you young people have seen Sling Blade. Because <laughs> I know y'all haven't watched the letters. Um, well, he moved me up there. And I think I've got seen the people. Um, you think that I just would have killed it. But anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> Up there. And he wanted me to be in sales for him in the mobile home business. So I did that day. <laughs> Until I saw a family drive up in a gremlin with the window down and a nine-year-old smoking a cigarette. <laughs> She lit it off of her memo. <laughs> so I quit. That day. And I went home and I got pregnant that night. 